Hello, how to evaluate with that calculator? We have 3 power 15 minus 3 power 12. Now, this is 15. You can express it as product of 3 and 5, and this is 12. You can express it as product of 3 and 4. So we have 3. 3 power of this is 3 times 5. Minus 3. 3 power of this is 3 times 4. Now, if you have a power n times n, this equals a power n raised to a power of n. So applying this identity right here and here, what we are going to have is 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 5 minus 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 4. Now from here, what we are going to do is to find the value of 3 power 3. So 3 power 3 equals 3 times 3 times 3, and this equals 27. So this is 27 to the power of 5 minus 27 to the power of 4. So what we can do is to express this 5 as summation of 4 and 1, because there is 4 here already. So we have 27 power of 4 plus 1 minus 27 power of 4. Now, if you have a power n plus n, this equals a power n times a power n. Applying this right here, we are going to have, this is 27 power 4 times 27 power 1 minus 27 power 4. So we have 27 power 4 here, we have 27 power 4 here. We can factor that out. We have 27 to the power of 4 times this divided by 27 power 4, we have 27 minus this divided by 27 power 4, we have 1. So from here, I have 27 power 4 times 27 minus 1, this is 26. So we need to find the value of 27 power 4 times 26. Now, 27 is simply 3 to the power of 3. So I can easily replace this 27 with 3 power 3. I have 3 power 3 raised to the power of 4 times 26. Now, if you have a power n raised to the power of n, this equals a power n times n. So we multiply these exponents. We are simply going to have 3 power 12 times 26. So what is the value of 3 power 12? We can express 3 power 12 as 3 to the power of 10 plus 2 times 26. Now, if you have a power n plus n, this equals a power n times a power n. Applying this identity right here, what we are going to have will be 3 power 10 times 3 power 2 times 26. So from here we have 3 power 10 times 3 power 2, that is 9 times 26. So what is the value of 3 power 10? So we have 3 to the power of 10. We can express it as 3 to the power of 5 times 2. And remember, a power n times n equals a power n raised to the power of n. So this equals 3 to the power of 5 raised to the power of 2. Now from here, we find the value of 3 power 5. So 3 power 5 is 3 times 3 times 3 times into 5 places. That is 243. I mean, we have 243 raised to the power of 2. So this will simply give us 243 times 243. 3 times 3, 9, 3 times 4, 12, 2 carry over 1, 3 times 2, 6, 6 plus 1, 7. From here, we have 4 times 3, 12. So we have 2 carry over 1, 4 times 4, 16, 16 plus 1, 17, 4 times 2, 8 plus 1, 9. We proceed to 2, 2 times 3, 6, 2 times 4, 8, 2 times 2, 4. So we add up. This is 9, 4, this is 20, 0 carry over to RT 11, 11 plus 8, 
So 3 power 10 is 5, 90, 4, 9 times 9 times 26. So to proceed, we need to multiply 5, 90, 4, 9 times 9. We have 5, 90, 4, 9 times 9. So we have 9 times 9, 81. So that is 1 carry over 8. 9 times 4, 36, 36 plus 8, 44. 4 carry over 4. 9 times 0, 0, 0 plus 4. We have 4. 9 times 9 again, 81. 1 carry over 8. 9 times 5. That is 45, 40 plus 45 plus 8. That is 53. We have 531441. This is the number that we are going to use to multiply by 26 to have our final answer. How do you do this? All right, let's do it step by step. 531441 times 26. So we start using 6, 6 times 1, 6, 6 times 4, 24, 4 carry over 2, 6 times 4 again, 24, 24 plus 2, 26, 6 carry over 2, 6 times 1, 6, 6 plus 2, 8, 6 times 3, 18, 8 carry over 1, 6 times 5, 30, 30 plus 1, 31, impressive. All right, let's proceed to 2. 2 times 1, 2, 2 times 4, 8, 2 times 8, 4, 8, 2 times 1, 2, 2 times 3, 6, 2 times 5, 10. Next step will be to add up these together. This is, we bring down the 6. This is 6. This is 4, 14, 4 carry over 1 up here. That is 17, 7 carry over 1 up here. That is 11, 1 carry over 1 up here. That is 8, 3 plus 0, 3, we bring the 1 here. So, in total, we have this is 13 million, I don't have 17,466. So we have 3 to the power of 15 minus 3 to the power of 12 is giving us what? 13 million, 817,466. And we have achieved this without the use of calculator. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you can evaluate this step by step. And you will not have any problem because calculator will not be needed. So that is it, guys. The first major step here is for you to express this 15 as product of 3 and 5. Then you make use of this identity. You make sure you find the value of 3 power 3. Find the value of 3 power 3 again. From there, convert it to 27 power 5 minus 27 power 4. You express this as 5 as summation of 4 plus 1 then you apply the identity here then you factor out 27 power 4 find the value of 27 power 4 then multiply but once you factor out 27 power 4 you have 27 minus 1 that means what you are going to do again will be to find the value of 27 power 4 times 26 that will give you the answer that is it thank you and goodbye